We're ready for you, Your Majesty. Three, two, one. We've moved now into the 60s, away from the first two series, which were very subdued. And now we're into colour. Amy, the wardrobe designer, is brilliant. It's a huge team effort. The Queen has a different outfit almost for every scene, and they're all handmade. They are all incredible. By the end, we'll probably have made about 70, 80 costumes for the Queen, and we've done over 40 for Margaret. We've done blouses, skirts, coats, jackets, a real cross-section of outfits. You can have a, a week or less to turn around a costume from start to finish and you could fit up to 10 at a time, so it's quite concentrated. We go through every scene mm. to decide the feel of what the Queen might wear for that scene, mm. whether it's a state ball, it's an audience with her Prime Minister. That all has to be thought out mm. and then we decide on the design and what we're going to have it made in. We have a load of Queen fabrics that we can just go to a load of Margaret fabrics that is that person. The Queen's fabrics and Margaret's fabrics, you could tell at a glance who was who. The Queen, I just felt she seemed more settled, so we've kept her pretty much in a palette of quite sugared almond colours. Margaret, slightly more darker, bruised if you like, a bit like her. Enough! There's a construct to Margaret, but it's a uniform. What? she has to wear. You know, she's a married woman, but we're constantly looking at ways in which she could express her individualism. This is unlike any TV show, even any movie. It's so richly detailed. There's one Prince of Wales check suit which I love, and is a kind of stroke of genius from Amy, the costume designer. I don't know how many people will pick up on the fact that it is the Prince of Wales check. I do feel much more like Charles. Am I listened to in this family? Am I seen for who and what I am? No. They're just so good at what they do. It's been really lovely for something that is as big as this to still feel like it's a family. For me to do it well, it takes hundreds of people to do this job. So I hope people will see a thread of our royal family in this huge story. We have all made sacrifices and suppressed who we are. It is not a choice. It is a duty.